Hi guys, this is Desktop Tech Pros in this video. I'll be comparing the three main virtual PC software packages. So up here we've got Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. So it shows you that it's got quite a lot of settings for the uh, virtual PC and you can edit them. Name it. Choose exactly what type of operating system you're choosing. Choose all of this. Uh, you can move the cursor along, choose how much RAM you're going to specify to it. Have, you can maximize it to have all of your RAM, but that is not recommended at all. You can change the processor, how much you can use, etc. All that. There's quite a lot of settings in there you can edit, and it runs quite smoothly. Uh, now, VMware, so we'll open this one. This one is a bit harder to get the grips off of the layout of this, but it's just as good. Right there. So you can it's not as presented easily to change all the settings, but I guess that it's still really comparing the second, so I'll put them side by side. So on here we have lots of settings for each one. So do we on here, but it's this one's more presented clearly. So I'd say virtual box wins on that one and then virtual PC is just a directory. And here are the settings. which isn't very well at all so that one definitely loses on that one so I'll put them all back so now we're going to test out uh, how smooth they run each operating system you can't expect uh, VirtualBox to run as well as the other two because it's using Windows 8 which is a beta version and these two are using full versions so it's going to be more buggy, but let's try it. So, virtual box is going up first. The only reason it failed to load the first time is because I aborted it last time, so I shut the virtual PC down without properly shutting it down, so that's why. But We'll give it a little handicap on that one. It loads up quite quickly, and we do have network, so all the drivers are installed properly and they work with Windows and itself, so that's alright. So here we have the app running quite smoothly as you can see, even with the screen recording. At the same time it's going to be smoother without it, but see how long it takes for it to load up an application. Mind you it is running this operating system on top of Windows 7, so going to be a bit slow see it's falling behind a bit here so I'll exit out of this one now So power off the machine. I'll load that back up. And now we we'll go to a virtual PC of the XP mode. So 
open that. This does take a long time to load up and it doesn't have an on screen bar, so this is the loading up. And as you can see, how long it takes to load it up. So Oracle is winning at the moment with the quick BIOS and loader. This one is falling behind dramatically. The slow startup. Also, when I tried to install Linux on the standard Windows Virtual PC, it didn't install properly, and it wouldn't work. And then I went to Virtual Box, and it worked first time, first install. Virtual PC, I attempted five times at installing. That was with Linux Mint 12, and each time it failed. That shows that a uh, Virtual PC can't work with certain operating systems. So here's the uh, top menu here. Unpin it. Virtual box does have one as well, the one I was using before, it's just forgot where it was. So uh, it's running quite smoothly. Fast on a few PCs around here while running. So uh, here's our virtual hard disk we've created. In the virtual PC you can see the <coughs> other hard disks and all that from your host operating system yeah this is running quite smoothly, we can see how long it takes to load up into next Explorer so if all the drivers are working looks like it test it out in here ok so that's um virtual PC. Now we'll go to VMware and power on Ubuntu. You can see VMware has a nice uh, <coughs> which means that little message that it's failed to get the state of the drive that means it's failing a bit so I'll put it in full screen. So apart from um, virtual PC this does load up a little slower than Oracle uh, virtual box, but it does start up a little bit faster than the standard Windows virtual PC. So you just got uh, sound drivers installed, so you can hear that. Although this one does take quite a while to load up, so you have to wait a bit. This is nice and graphical here, running quite smoothly. I don't know what's going on there. Hold it down, stupid. Right. See how long it loads. There we go. That's the thing that I needed to know to start up. I'm just gonna hide that. I don't need it. I don't want it. It'll just keep on buggering me if I don't. Do it so see how long it takes to load up the internet. A little slower than virtual PC. So here we have it, I'll just go to uh, YouTube. Seems to be working right. So when they're all loaded up they're just as fast as each other basically, it's just a starting up time that's the real main competition here. Just gonna exit out of this one manually, power off it. So there we have the uh, smoothness of them running. So I'll load up VMware again. So with VMware you can lock your um, virtual machines as you can see here as I put this one as encrypted so you have to enter a password to even turn it on which is good. I don't know if you can do it in um, 
virtual box I haven't tested that but I don't think you can in a virtual PC so overall I think uh, virtual box is the best as uh, it seems to be the fast loading up the smooth the most smooth for uh, running the uh, guest OS um, and this one loses by a long while so if you're going to choose one either choose virtual box or VMware don't choose virtual PC even if you can because I would avoid it and from my experience it cannot run certain operating systems like it would not let me install Linux Mint 12 I attempted five times and this one finished in one so that's the conclusion. Thank you very much, that's what Tech Pros.